my name is Grace Lee. I'm a business manager at Icron Technologies, and we're a Maxim Integrated Brand. Um, so, have, have, how many of you in the audience have heard of Extreme USB or have heard of Icron? Raise of hand. Oh, there are a couple ones. Fantastic. Um, so you guys are probably the video experts. Um, we are the USB experts. We do ex only USB extension. Um, and I want to talk about how we can actually utilize the extreme USB technology in your SDBO system today. Here's a quick overview of what I'm going to be going over today. Uh, I want to talk about extreme USB, what it's all about. Um, and why? Why do you want to actually integrate Extreme USB in your system? Uh, I want to go into specific features of what we offer. And most excitingly, I want to talk about the applications in the market you can actually utilize our technology in. And here's a really quick overview of what Extreme um, USB is all about. Uh, as many of you know, right now, the limitation with uh, USB 2.0 is five meter cable, and that's it. That's all you can get. But with Extreme USB, we can actually extend 100 meters with the LAN, existing LAN network, and actually all the way 10 kilometers if you use fiber optics. And here's a quick two, three minute video I would like to show you that explain what we do and what the technology is all about. USB is the world's most popular interface, connecting us to devices for communication and collaboration. As convenient and popular as USB is, it has a cable distance limitation of five meters or less, causing installation challenges for many applications. This distance gap can be easily overcome by using a USB extender system. A local extender is attached to a host, and a remote extender is attached to at least one USB device, such as a keyboard, mouse, touchscreen or camera, and the two sides are connected by link cables such as category or fiber to provide the extension distance. Distance can be as far as 10 kilometers or more. However, not all USB extender systems work the same way or can handle all the variables of an installation, including USB class, device type, hubs, host controllers, operating systems, transmission media, and extension distance, to name just a few. Enter Extreme USB from Icron Technologies, the world's most reliable USB extension technology for USB 1.1, 2.0, and 3.1. The Extreme USB suite of features include extension is invisible to host and devices. Devices are hot swappable for quick and easy installation. Best in class interoperability, supporting Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS. Extreme USB extenders also feature other capabilities. Some extender models offer flexible power, allowing you to apply power at either the local or remote extender, whichever is most convenient for placing your devices. While other Extreme USB extender models allow you to extend devices over a local area network and save cost by leveraging existing in-building cabling. Installation is easy. Simply plug the local extender into a LAN port in one room the remote extender in another, and these extenders find each other over the network to establish a connection. There are many different markets and applications where extreme USB can be used. Consider meeting rooms that need to extend web cameras, audio, and other USB devices, or hospital settings that require displays in other rooms some distance away from medical imaging devices, or factory floors that need to extend peripherals such as assembly line cameras or sensors. Anywhere a USB host needs to be remotely located from displays or peripheral devices, Icron has a variety of extreme USB extension solutions to fit your application. With millions of extender systems deployed in the market, extreme USB technology is built to perform. Choose the best. Insist on extreme USB. It's okay, if there's specific questions, feel free to come back and then we can talk more about it in, de in details later. And here's a really quick um, picture of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, we actually have the, um, the local extender and the remote extender actually right here at the booth. So if you're interested, you can actually check it out after the presentation. So um, this, this is a typical um, diagram where you can have the local extender sitting close to the host, um, going through the switch, and then having another remote extender at the another side where you want to extend your devices on. 
and we're actually part of the Blue River reference design already, and we're the only USB 2.0 solution that is approved by SDBOE. Um, so uh, you can have an AVT 2000T chip handling all the HDMI, and can, you, you can have our ASIC handling all the USB 2.0 traffic, and it's bidirectional. And all this can be um, basically extended up to 100 meters with the Cat 5 e 6 and 7 cable. So, so why? Why use Extreme USB? Um, many, many, really, many good reasons. Um, first of all, like I said, we're the only 2.0 solution that's approved by SDVOE. And also, many of you might not realize that this technology is already available in your SDVOE system. So if you don't take advantage of it, you actually might be leaving money on the table. Um, there's so many additional features that you can offer to your end customers that you might not be aware of. And we're already part of the solution. And we're really, truly um, plug and play, which means that there's no need to spend lots of time installing new software drivers. You can literally just plug it in and it should just work. And we have the best in class interoperability with a variety of different USB devices. And we're constantly looking for the best in class USB partners to work with to make sure we can work with the latest cameras, the latest audio devices, the latest speakers. Um, you know, and then we work with uh, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome's, and all the major operating systems. And there are also very specific features that we can actually offer, and that I will actually go into more details in later slides. And here are some of the major features that we offer with Extreme USB. The first one is called Switchable USB. So for switchable USB, what it means is that there's specific pairing over the LAN network. In this diagram, we have a local extender paired to local, uh, a remote one. And using the APIs that are already fully integrated in your SDVOE system, you can dynamically change the pairing um, from local one to, lo uh, to remote two instead, for example. And different users at different room within the building can actually now have instantaneous access to the same server and grabbing the data from that. Another great feature is called simultaneous user interaction. And what that means is that one local extender can be paired all the way up to seven remote uh, extenders at the same time. So imagine an application where you can have multiple user not just receiving the same uh, video uh, input data, but actually having the output USB going back to the same uh, location, actually allowing that to be, fe uh, to be fed back into the host as well. So it allows for simultaneous content sharing, collaboration between the teams. A very useful feature. Uh, another great feature we provide is called device class filtering. And what this really means is that um, we can actually set up the system to specifically block out a device type. Um, for example, in a high government security building, you don't want somebody to come in with a USB drive infected with viruses and then affect your whole system. So with this feature, we are able to actually program it and block out. As long as it's detected as a hard drive, um, we block it. It simply wouldn't function. And vice versa, let's say, again, in a high security government building or a medical center where very sensitive, secretive data are located, whether it's patient records, government data, you don't want anybody to come in with an empty hard, um, flash drive and grab data from the host. Uh, we can also ut utilize this feature to make sure that doesn't happen. And again, in other applications, we can also block out keyboard mouse or camera and audio devices as well. Um, and this is the exciting part. This is actually why I'm here today talking to you about this. Market application in the SDVOE world. This is what actually drives me and gets me up in the morning. I wanted to be excited about our technology is how it can actually be utilized and how much benefits it can actually bring to the world if we actually utilize it and use it to the best of our abilities. Um, the first market segment I want to talk about is the conference room. Um, as you all already very well know, um, whether it's BYOD or fixed infrastructure, um, people can actually utilize extension to have the USB devices being able to lay it out seamlessly um, and in a variety of different configuration. And here's a really quick diagram of how that is actually set up. 
um, let's say we're using existing land network structure within the building. Um, a, a guy with a backpack comes into the room, brings his own laptop. He can plug in his laptop and instantaneous gains control of the entire room. And it could be a big lecture hall that he's actually presenting his material um, in. And he, there's a camera that can be capturing the presentation. Uh, there's a big display in the room that can be showing what he's actually trying to get the message across. And there's a speaker across the room that's allowing the audience to have feedback as well. So it could be very interactive that way. So whether it's Zoom room, Microsoft Team, Huddle room, we can ut utilize this feature. Uh, here's a diagram for fixed infrastructure conference room. So the host uh, is already situa situating the meeting room, and we can actually have easy access and easy configuration with all the different USB devices, uh, allow uh, situation in different parts of the room, extending it all the way up to 100 meters with the existing cable length. Um, another segment is a medical facility. Um, here's a picture of an MRI machine having the USB data and simultaneously allowing different physicians at different offices within the same hospital able to simultaneously view the same results and consult with each other at the same time. It enables a lot of collaboration that way. And here's a diagram of how that is implemented. So here we can have like S different SDVOE boxes. Um, Every single doctor can actually be located in the different office with their own uh, computer or laptop, um, able to actually collaborate that way and viewing the same result coming from the MIR machine room. Imagine uh, you no longer need to actually try to figure out how to get all the doctors in the same room at the same time with all their different, you know, different schedules. They can just be sitting in at the comfort of their office and having all this being viewed at the same time and the patient record can be stored as well in different locations. And it's really good for patient record keeping as well. Uh, another market segment is the server control room. Imagine stacks and stacks of different servers, um, for, and you want to have instantaneous access to it, and different server might run in different OS. Um, here's a diagram of a single workstation having access to a variety of different servers, perhaps running on a completely different OS. And they can switch back and forth, getting data from the Windows uh, system and then switching to the Linux, and also storing data and manipulating data that way. And it's instantaneous and it's reliable. Here's another market segment, education. Uh, interactive whiteboards, a student giving a presentation, having that presentation saved uh, into the teacher's um, laptop maybe 15 meters away, and having all that being graded afterwards. It allows brainstorming collaboration. And broadcasting and content editing. Um, here's another example that the switchable USB that I talked about earlier can be utilized here. Um, let's say this person is trying to do content editing of a broadcast material she just recorded, and she needs very specific software application that's only available on the Mac OS, but the content is stored on the, US, uh, on the Windows on computer. She's able to actually switch between the station, grabbing software application from this computer, switching it to another one, do her content editing, going back and forth seamlessly um, to make sure her work can be done in a very timely fashion. Government security, and this I already touched on earlier. This is where the device class filtering can be very useful. And this way where you can block certain devices, make sure that doesn't happen, um, making sure that it's serving mission critical markets. And kiosk controls. This could be everywhere. It could be at the airport, subway station, train station, um, anywhere where you want that instantaneous user feedback and output and fast ticket transactions. This is where this comes in. Interactive display. We see these a lot these days at the mall or at the airport and actually here <laughs> at the show. Um, but what I have witnessed so far is it's very, it's, it catches your attention, but it's one-way communication right now. You see it, it's great, and you go, where can I find it? Where's that product? Where is it located? How do I get access to it? It's, it's one-way communication instead of two-way. But with extreme USB, when you're able to extend that USB data all the way through and that user is able to have touch panel control and give you that feedback, all of a sudden it's a completely different new shopping experience. 
And all of a sudden, this person can not only see what is being outputted to her, but she goes, wait a minute, where's the store? We can offer search engine functionality to it. She can tap on it and go, okay, that's where the store is located. This is where I can find it, and that's the price. Um, it offers a brand new experience to this consumer, and it's also beneficial for the retailers. Imagine all the data mining the retailers can do, grabbing the data, finding out, oh, this, these are the products that are driving the sales during this specific time. Um, during Valentine season, Christmas season, what are the products that are driving you know, the consumer behavior? Th that interaction allows that to happen, and Extreme USB can help. And video walls. Exciting, exciting time for our technology. Very exciting time. Imagine every screen here, not just outputting the video, but actually able to allow the user to have that touch panel uh, input in. Imagine as a two-way communication instead of just one way. Uh, here's a quick diagram of what that would look like. Um, every single screen would need an SDVOE box for the video content, um, but you might not realize the USB extension is also available right there that can be utilized. And we can add that on to actually enable that brand new experience I just talked about. Instantaneous feedback of all the touch panel, all the data collection. And every box can be um, connected to the same LAN and connected to the same host. And here's a picture of a shopping district in Tokyo. And this is what we currently have for the current advertisement. Large video ads, large video wall, it's that, it's, you know, it's, they, they flashes to catch your attention. But how many people walk by without even glancing up? How many people miss the ads? How many people actually just you know, walk by without realizing what's being outputted to them? So it's static. There's no interaction with the consumers. And it can easily be dismissed. And what I'm seeing right now is the future of video ads. We can utilize the technology of video walls and actually having ads outputted that way and implementing extreme USB so that every single panel right now is not only outputting one-way communication to the consumer, but also collecting data from the consumer back to the retailer. Um, everybody's aware of the catchphrase, how many clicks did I get? How many likes did I get? Imagine the future where the, consumer, uh, where the people are saying, how many tabs did I get from my video walls? People can actually go, oh, wow, these are the ads that actually worked. These are the screens that got the most tabs. Whereas, oh, these screens are outputting these data, but hey, I got no traffic from those screens. Maybe I should monitor my strategy and change my content a little bit. It's able to, it's able to actually allow the data mining for the retailers, for, for the people who are creating the content to make sure that the content is actually useful and relevant. And Extreme USB is allowing that to happen. Um, in summary, um, I just want to make sure um, we touch all the bases. Um, there are a wide, wide, uh, wide varieties of different applications that Extreme USB can be utilized. And there's so many benefits that we can bring to make sure the user experience is not just static, but actually much improved. There are endless, endless potentials here, endless market segments that we can go after and, and improve upon. And it's very easy integration with the SDVOE system. Um, as I said, we are already part of the Blue River uh, reference design. And it's very easy to utilize the APIs that are fully integrated already. And there's so many flexibility here as well. Um, any questions so far? OK. Um, in the end, I, I want to leave you with this quote. Um, Steve Jobs once said, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. I'm not saying at Icron we're crazy, but what I am, I am saying is that we do believe we can change the world with our technology. One extender at a time, one SDVOE system at a time. And would you join me? Thank you. Thank you.